The men's soccer team enters the countdown at number five as the Wildcats advance to the America East Finals for the second time in the past three seasons. The Cats knocked off top-seeded Vermont in the semifinals with a 1-0 victory. Goalkeeper Travis Wara tallied his seventh shutout of the season, making six saves in the effort. Paul Bianchi sent New Hampshire to the title game with his first goal of the season. Keely McGuire of the women's cross country team cruised to a first place finish at the America East Championship at College Woods. McGuire completed the 5K course just two seconds shy of the course record and became the second Wildcat in school history to capture the top individual honor. The seniors' effort helped the Cats play second overall. Gaston goes right side. Gaston sends it out to Hogan. She's going to have to throw up a long bomb. It's on the way. Bang! A 30-footer by Kelsey Hogan. Kelsey Hogan's buzzer-beating three-pointer extended the women's basketball season as the Cats knocked off fourth-seeded Stony Brook in the America East quarterfinals 49-46. Hogan finished with a team-high 13 points, including three of five from beyond the arc and the amazing game winner to help the Wildcats make their first appearance in the semis since 2005. On February 17th, the women's swimming and diving team set an all-time league championship record in winning the 2013 America East Championship. This marked the fifth time under head coach Josh Willman that the Wildcats earned a conference title and the first time since the team won back-to-back -back championships in 2005 and 2006. A college athlete. His name is Cameron Lyle. A track and field hopefully is being called a hero. He has decided to give up his sport, missing the final and most important competitions of his entire college career so that he can donate his bone marrow to a complete stranger. Our countdown concludes with men's track and field senior Cameron Lyle. In April, Lyle donated his bone marrow to an anonymous recipient, consequently ending his career as a Wildcat, but saving the life of a stranger in need. The odds of matching a non-family member were one in five million, but the Plastow native made the difficult decision and said it was easy. Lyle received the first ever America East Award of Valor for his courageous action. And that concludes our countdown of the top highlights of the 2012-13 season. Good news is 2013-14 is right around the corner, right here on UNHWildcats.com.